Hello, hello! In this video we're going to take a quick look at V-speeds and why pilots need them when flying. So V-speeds represent different speeds which are considered to be important during the various parts of an aircraft's operation. They are usually specific to the aircraft that you're flying and the speeds are determined by the aircraft's designers. In small aircraft, most of the important V-speeds are actually displayed as colour-coded arcs which sit on the airspeed indicator. We'll take a closer look at these later on. In larger aircraft, the V-speeds can alter slightly depending on the weight of the plane, weather conditions and the runway length. So these are usually marked by flags or little indicators which sit on the side of the airspeed indicator. So let's look at some of the most commonly used V-speeds. I'll look at them as if we were going on a flight. So starting with takeoff, these are the most common V speeds used. V1. This is the speed at which takeoff can no longer be safely aborted. Before V1, if a technical fault develops with the plane during the takeoff roll, the pilot can choose to abort the takeoff and slam on the brakes. After V1, however, you are committed to takeoff no matter what happens. VR or V rotate. This is the speed at which the pilot lifts the nose wheel off the ground and pitches the plane up to lift off the runway. V2. This is most often used in multiple engine aircraft. This represents the speed at which aircraft can safely take off if one engine fails. VX. This is the speed which allows the best angle of climb. This is used when the pilot wants to gain the most altitude over the shortest ground distance. Basically when they want to have a steep climb. And finally VY. This is the speed at which the aircraft gains the most altitude in the shortest time. So an example of the difference between VX and VY. The pilot would use VX when gaining altitude is the main priority. For example, if they're flying in mountainous terrain and they need to get above nearby obstacles, they would use VX. When saving time is the priority, they will use VY to climb. So, moving on to the next stage of flying, once we get up in the air and into a cruise, there's some more speeds to consider. Starting at a high speed, we have VNE, which is Velocity Never Exceed. This is simply the maximum speed for the aircraft. Next one is VNO. This is the maximum normal operating speed for the aircraft. This is the maximum speed that the aircraft can fly in turbulent or gusty conditions. And then finally VA, which is also known as the manoeuvring speed. This is the maximum speed at which control inputs can be fully applied without putting dangerous levels of stress on the airframe. Okay, in the last sort of section, as we come in for approach and landing, we have VFE, which is the maximum flaps extended speed. This relates to when the flaps are fully extended. Usually though, an aircraft will have different reference speeds for different stages of flaps. VREF is your landing reference speed. Basically the speed that you want to touch down at. And then VS represents the stall speed. And there's a few variations on this as well. For example, VS0 represents the stall speed when the aircraft is in a landing configuration, which will be different compared to the normal flight stall speed. So how do you work out what the V-speeds actually are in knots? Well, let's look at small aircraft first. I mentioned earlier that these have coloured arcs on the airspeed indicator. Let's have a closer look at this and I'll explain everything. So this is the airspeed indicator from our faithful Cessna 172. Let's start at the top end and work our way down. So up at about 163 knots we have a red line. This would be your VNE, or Velocity Never Exceed speed, the maximum speed for this aircraft. Then you can see a yellow bar running down to about 129 knots. So 129 knots would be your VNO, the maximum normal operating speed. You can go up into the yellow bar, but only if the wind is calm or steady. Going this fast in turbulent conditions would put a lot of stress on the aircraft, which is obviously very dangerous. Next, if you follow the green bar all the way down, you'll see that it stops at 45 knots. 
This will be the VS or the stall speed for the aircraft with the flaps retracted. If you look back up at 85 knots, you'll see a white arc around the outside. At 85 knots, you have the VFE or the maximum airspeed for the flaps when they're fully extended. And you can see that this white arc goes all the way down to below 40 knots. According to the A2A Cessna 172 manual, the stall speed for a Cessna with the flaps fully deployed is actually 33 knots. So at 33 knots, that will be your VS0 speed, the stall speed in landing configuration. Normally though, you would have a VREF or an approach speed of 60 knots, slowing to about 55 as you flare and touch down. So there's an example of V speeds in a small aircraft. Let's look at larger aircraft quickly. Here's the Beechcraft Baron with a glass cockpit. So for the larger aircraft in FSX, the V speeds can generally be found on the knee board under the reference page. In this example, you can see multiple V speeds available. Also, if you have a look at the airspeed indicator, you can see a little X and Y flag representing the VX and VY speeds for climb reference. In big jets, the V speeds are normally calculated by the Flight Management Computer, or FMC for short. As I mentioned, this takes into account weather conditions, aircraft weights and the runway length, amongst other things, but sadly this is not simulated in the default FSX jets. So hopefully that explains a little bit about V-speeds and what they're used for. In my next video I'm going to do a two-part video of a full IFR flight. I'm actually heading away on holiday straight after this video is uploaded, but I've got this next video pre-recorded to keep the channel taking over while I'm away. I'm going to fly the A2A Cessna 172 from Bournemouth on the south coast of England up to Belfast, Northern Ireland and cover almost everything you could do as an amateur flight simmer. Hope to see you there, many thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.